It would seem that after the experience of the Cold War and several other geopolitical options of destroying the planet, that humanity wouldn't let itself be divided into two opposing camps anymore. However, not even 20 years have passed since the USSR's collapse, and China and the US's relationship is shaping up to be another Cold War. It's carried out quite cleverly through hacking, economic pressure, and similar methods. But of course, we can't forget about the good old arms race. You can usually find comparisons between similar weapons online if they are directly opposed. But we, as always, do everything in our power to make you love our channel. We've come up with a list of the best possible Chinese and American prototypes that we think compare well. Which helicopter is so universal it can fight submarines and transport a couple tons of their leader's portraits? When will you be able to fly from New York City to London in an hour? And what is the Jin submarine filled with? Are you interested? I'm sure you are. How China Scares the U.S. Army. Let's go! Let's start with the best bomber ever seen the B-21 Raider. It's also called America's next-gen strategic bomber. Although the B-21 successfully completed its critical construction checkup in late 2018, it is still significantly shrouded by secrecy. It's a step necessary to make sure that potential enemies can't quickly discover how to protect themselves against it when it will join the U.S. Army in the 2020s. But this is what we know. The bomber can carry conventional and nuclear weaponry, as well as scheduled and potential weapon systems since the original B-21 design was made with an open architecture scheme. It will wield long range, a large cargo capacity, strike characteristics, and durability to attack all possible potential targets, including deeply buried or time-sensitive mobile targets in enemy territory. Nothing can hide from the bomber's eyes. This bird probably has no equal in the sky since there's no equal to the spirit now and any Air Force would love to get their hands on that tech. So a super bomber has appeared out of our burger and noodle union today. It's time for the fresh baked communist allies to show themselves. There it is, a development that can be the base of the combined army instead of the expensive and old Abrams. The VT-4 is the Chinese main battle tank developed especially for export. It's also known as the MBT-3000. Oh yeah! The Chinese have finally stopped just modernizing old Soviet designs and took a step forward. The VT-4 is equipped with a fully stabilized 125mm smooth barreled cannon. The cannon is an automatically fed rotary type cannon. The automatic loading reduces the crew to three people, letting them make the tank smaller. The loading speed is up to eight rounds per minute to fire four types to rounds. But that's not all. It also has eight 76mm smoke grenade launchers and four 76mm shrapnel grenade launchers. It also has anti-tank controlled missiles that are shot from the cannon. The tank's frame is on a track chassis and looks like a fully welded armored steel design. The tank is also equipped with smoke grenade launchers and nuclear, biological, and chemical crew defense systems. The tank weighs about 52 tons. Not stupid at all, like a tank on five lemon bucks. Let's speed up now. The X-51A Wave Rider is a US-developed hypersonic winged missile. It travels at about 3,400 miles per hour and can fly from London to New York City in an hour. Baron Munchausen would fly faster on it than on a cannonball. Old US Air Force scientific advisor Micah Ensley worked on the design and noted that the first hypersonic flying devices should be available in 2023. The X-51 Wave Rider missiles were developed by Boeing and worked by falling out of a traditional carrier plane. During successful tests, the missiles were thrown out of the plane, then turned on several acceleration stages, and flew off at ultrasonic speeds towards the target. It was designed to continue the path towards hypersonic weapons of the future, hypersonic intelligence, observation, and recon, as well as future space access. It should be ready in 2025. We doubt anyone will be able to catch up to it. Now let's cool off. Underwater perhaps. The 094 Jin, aka Type 094, is a Chinese second gen nuclear missile submarine. The Type 094 subs are 442 feet long and are equipped with 12 missile launchers, each capable of launching two underwater ballistic missiles that can carry up to three nuclear warheads to their target at ranges up to 5,000 miles. The submarine can carry 12 ballistic missiles. There have been rumors that the Type 094 uses some Russian technologies and, as expected, will be significantly improved compared to the single-shot class ballistic submarine 
with improved noise dampening systems and instruments, as well as a more reliable power station. Although this submarine is not considered to have reached the same level as new Russian and Western missile submarines, especially in terms of silence and missile amount, it is a huge step forward compared to the first Gen 092 shot type ballistic submarine. The improvements in the sonic, engine, training, and calming methods used are expected to significantly improve the Chinese submarine fleet. But whose possibilities will be almost limitless? The potential 6th gen fighter usually called the FAXX, of course. The new fighter's main tasks are air combat, land attacks, land combat, and air support. The platform's requirements include the ability to supercruise, as well as cutting edge stealth functions, instruments, and radar, with possible network adaptations, meaning cooperation with UAVs. Additional goals and capabilities include mid air refueling, recon, observation, and target capture, as well as electromagnetic combat with electronic attacks and counterattacks. The FAXX platforms will carry missiles, will have a feeding and cooling system for the targeted energy weapons, and will have instruments that can target small radar located goals. Cyber warfare at a tactical level as a family of systems is also being studied. Now let's look at another plane that doesn't just exist on paper. The Z-18 is a single rotor helicopter with a flight stick and a fixed chassis. It can reach speeds of 209 miles per hour and heights of about 29,500 feet. The helicopter underwent a series of tests that were gathering information on how the vehicle behaved at great altitudes, including flight speed and potential cargo capacity. According to a pilot's data, 29,000 feet up in the air, there was a warning signal, but the crew saw the potential to climb up another 500 feet to 29,500. It has a replaceable lower part, reserve power, and is provided with three improved turbo WZ-6C engines. Its maximum takeoff weight is 13.8 tons. It can carry 27 passengers or a 5-ton load. It also has a glass cockpit and a light frame made with extensive use of composite materials and titanium, as well as composite rotor blades. Additionally, the Chang'e Z-18 helicopters are positioned as an aerial means of combating submarines and enemy ships, as well as transport or search and rescue air vehicles that can operate at extremely long ranges. Oh yeah, this is a worthy competitor for Sikorsky where only one can win. Last but not least for today, the largest ship in the world, the aircraft carrier G Ford. There are extensive debates to this day on the need for such an expensive project. The new ship's keel was ceremonially laid down on November 14, 2009, in dry dock number 12 by Ford's daughter Susan Ford Bales. In her speech to the gathered workers and representatives from the Ministry of Defense, she said, Father had a difficult call to restore trust to the presidency and heal the nation's wounds after Watergate. Only he knew how to do that with absolute honesty and integrity. We remember this legacy on this morning today. On May 31, 2017, the Gerald R. Ford was acquired by the U.S. Navy. The ship is equipped with an EMAL's electromagnetic catapult based on a liner's power station. It lets it catch up to military planes more smoothly and avoid load too heavy in designing UAVs. The two new reactors designed for the aircraft carrier are capable of producing 25% more electricity than the previous generation's aircraft carrier's power stations. The energy reserve lets the ship recharge the catapults and launch new planes more quickly, and it can carry up to 75 planes and helicopters on board. The power station, with two A1B reactors, is the first of its kind that doesn't require fuel refilling during service. The new reactors are made in a way that the nuclear fuel lasts for all 50 years the aircraft carrier will serve. Thanks to this, ship safety is increased since all the radioactive material from loading to retirement will be hermetically sealed. There's nothing to say about its weaponry. It's the most powerful aircraft carrier in history and has no equals. The ship's crew is almost 5,000 people strong. Look at the combined army from these two superpowers. I don't know who could stand up to it, but since that will probably never happen because they're too busy standing against each other, a peaceful union between these two definitely won't happen. But you can fantasize about it in the comments. What else would you include in their alliance? Don't forget to like the video as well. Until next time.